What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Intrigue going for win number 163 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden. Sorry, I had to adjust my mic. As Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Let's hope for a good start to this run. Okay, so we do get Pound of Flesh, which is interesting. It's going to make it so our shops now cost hearts and our devil deals now cost money. Uh, which is... It's kind of interesting. Because that means that we can now get stuff from the shop, but I don't think we lose our angel deal chance. And so we can still spend our red hearts. So this could be kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, we also did get some kind of bad stats. Better than yesterday. We get a slightly 0 0.06 above average uh, tier rate. And then we get below average damage by like 0.8 uh the seed is mg one t y seven gn and we also have book of sins book of sins whatever to forget what it's called make it so we can summon an item every four rooms and it can be a key it can be a bomb it can be a battery it can be a soul heart it can be about any consumable i'm pretty sure uh i don't know the bounds of it completely i think it can also be a card pill as i said most consumables uh and we start off with sad bombs which is interesting sad bombs is one of those items that when you get very specific runs, you really, really want it. Like, whenever you get a good Dr. Fetus or Epic Fetus run, you're like, ooh, if I get Sad Bombs, this is GG. So, hopefully we can get Sad Bombs today. Or not Sad Bombs. Hopefully we can get... Oh my gosh, this is rough. Oh, this is rough. Oh gosh, this is rough. Uno Memento, por favor. There we go. Okay, well, we're now down to one heart of health. But, we have so many bombs that we should be fine. Hopefully we can get a health up here. Luckily, since we are at zero hearts of red heart health, it's very easy for us to get a or health up pill because we can either get a health up or a health down pill and it'll count. And maybe we can get magic mush here. And the reason I'm blowing up all these is because I'm in a very dire situation. And there we go. We got a health up, a tears up, and hematemesis. That actually just kind of saved the run. But now we have to be careful because that same pill that just gave us that health up could be a health down. Um, actually, I don't. it can't be a health down yet. It could be a health down in the future though. Um, and we do find... Also, I thought these were the energy sapping flies. Stop attacking me, please. It's so annoying that these guys can go into the wall. But I'm just going to grab this for the oh crap transformation. Don't know where that poop went. Maybe we get oh crap today. Uh, decently good chance of getting it. But we have a lot of health to use. But that's actually really good that we got those three pills. Those are probably the three best pills we could have gotten. One of them gave us enough health to survive, uh, a hit from a champion, one of it gave us more tier rate, which is awesome, and one of us actually gave us the red heart health that we needed. So, that was actually super, super good, and as you will see, everything does cost health. So, uh, it can be pretty interesting. So if we see something really good in the shop, it's very easy for us to purchase it as long as we have the red heart health, and if the runs keep on going how they have been going, we get a lot, a lot of red heart health every run. Um, yesterday was a prime example of that. Of course, yesterday we had a prayer card, which meant we got a f like a health up every single floor. Not the worst. So, who knows how today's going to go. And I'm just going to put that down a bomb real quick. One thing that's pretty cool is Sad Bombs does do a dumb amount of damage compared to uh, other bombs. Just because it does shoot out those tiers. And so, usually with Gemini, it takes about two bombs to kill. Um, but because we had Sad Bombs, it did a lot more. I'm not exactly sure completely how much damage the tears do that come out of sad bombs, but it looked like it went well. And this right here is the situ the spot you want to be in, where the baby just gets slammed against the wall every time you shoot. That way it's not actually chasing you. So you have to wait till it slightly curves towards the wall, and you have to get like on the inside edge of the baby, or the outside edge of the baby, and then you can just like go pew 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 pew. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, get away from me. You lived way longer than you should have. And depending on what trinket I get here, dang, okay. I was going to say, depending on what trinket I got here, I might go get a uh, trinket smelter. Uh, I will take wiggle worm because wiggle worm is really good early in a run just because it gives you a little bit of tier rate and it gives you spectral tiers, which is pretty valuable. So I'll take that for now. Also, pill cap, not my favorite trinket. As you see, 10% chance to for a pill to spawn on room clear. We don't want that. Um, I was going to say that might have been why we got so many pills from the mushrooms. That's actually not. Chance for a bonus pill from chest, tinder rocks, and destroyed machines. And I don't care about pills that much. We know we have good pills, so I guess we kind of care. At the same time, we don't. Okay. Anything in here that we need? Hematemesis would not help us. Yeah. I, I want. I would love to go into the curse room, but I really just can't. 
reasonably do that. Also, guys, I'm recording this video at about 6 p.m. It's about to be 6 p.m., which is kind of the earliest I've recorded this, one of these in a while. So, pat on the back for me. I was just like, my friends are on. I can't play games with them. So, I might as well record this video. You know, get it out of the way so I can have more time later to play games. And 100%, I, I am going to blow this up. Ooh, and Wiggle Worm with Sad Bombs is cool. And I know we are out of bombs. Yesterday, if we had a single bomb on the second floor, we could have had flight. But listen, today is not yesterday. We don't know if we need a bomb, and I really need health. Health makes me happy, and we will probably get more bombs on this floor. Trust me. Yeah, we got a bomb. I'll try to always have at least one bomb on me on every floor. I think that's going to be a new thing I try to do. Because the amount of times that a single bomb can help us out a lot, it's pretty often, honestly. An eyesore is interesting. We no longer want to get Dr. Fetus. If we get Dr. Fetus, it would actually just end in a lost run. Because what happens with eyesore and Dr. Fetus is you just randomly shoot bombs out in random directions behind you. So if I'm, if I'm up against a wall like this trying to shoot a bomb, one can just like shoot at my feet and blow me up. So, unless we get Pyromaniac, we don't want that. If we got Pyromaniac or like Host Hat, it would actually be kind of crazy. Because we thrive off of getting bombed at that point. Um, that looks like it should be the secret room. I'm not gonna bomb it just yet. I do want to wait to have like two bombs but Yeah, I think it was definitely worthwhile to blow up the mushrooms that last floor because we needed pills We really really needed pills. Of course. I didn't take another hit of damage after that which Could be attributed to me getting a tier 8 up. That might have helped me a little bit Who really knows? I also probably shouldn't have taken as much damage as I did in that room I probably should have just Ooh, watch this. Oh my gosh. That was dumb. Uh, I probably should have just bombed earlier with pride, but I kind of forgot that I had a bunch of bombs to use because usually on the first floor I don't have bombs, but eh, it's fine. It was just kind of a dumb mistake that didn't need to be, need to be made. And sorry, I was trying to make sure I was actually clicked onto the game. Sometimes if you're not clicked onto the game, you can have like these weird frame issues, and sometimes I'm wondering if it's just my eyes just being weird or if it's the game being weird. But look at this. We love having spectral tears. And I'm gonna go find the shop real quick. I, I feel like that's a good idea. Also, I know, don't know how I never knew that holding down the map button let me see what my trinkets did or do. Cause I'm not somebody who holds down the tr that button a lot. I don't know why I started doing it recently, but it's fine. Also, I do want to blow up that tinted rock. I, I saw it originally. And we are gonna do a cool move called bombing for bombs. Why do we do this? Because it literally can't be bad. No matter what, it, it kind it, it pays pays back a little bit. I am gonna do this, however. I do like this because I do want to try to get SMB Super Fan because a that'd be very good. And we're okay to spend a lot of money because we are not going for Devil Deals, so we kind of don't need money anymore for this run, other than paying out claw machines. <laughs> we just money is not that useful. I mean, we could also put in the donation machine, but. We don't need it. And watch this fun trick. So one thing that's kind of cool is if you get restock, I think it's if you get restock. If you get restock and you get a soul heart in a shop, you can keep taking soul hearts. You keep taking soul hearts and you're like, that might be useless. But if you have something like old bandage, gimpy, anything that lets you get something from taking damage, that can actually be a game break. A very long game break, but it's a game break nonetheless. I think that works. And... People were talking in the comments on yesterday's video that they're like, you could have actually just broken the game with IV bag. I did notice that um, at the time. I was like, dang, I could do that, but I, like that would be such a long game break. That would have been just very, very lame for all of us to have to watch. And I don't, I'm not, min-maxing is fun, but in a run like that, it's not going to, it's not really going to benefit me in any way. So I didn't really care too much. And I will go back to that room. If I can get SMB Super Fan, I mean, that's just a all stats up that's really solid. So, I want it. And that was probably not... And eh, that's fine. That's fine. And I honestly really like having Eyesore with Wiggle Worm. Because our tears can just randomly hit stuff. Oh, you're so stupid. I don't know why. I feel like... If they just added, like, one line of code that said, If bomb here, don't go there. To this boss this boss would be 10 times harder but instead this little horn just goes like right next to his own bomb like look at that what are you doing what are you doing right there i don't know how to code at all i mean i know how to code a little bit i don't know how to code for video games i don't know how to do what they do but i swear 
the amount of times the little horn goes next to their bomb is crazy. It probably it probably teleports based off the player position. Who knows? But here we go. We do get the damage up that we were hoping for. And I know I could like min max a little bit more here by waiting to pick up this heart and then donating my health. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, I think my best bet right now is going to be to blow up this rock. If I blow up this rock, I want to give this two soul hearts, which allows us to go in here with no worries. Oh, this was dumb. This was dumb. I was like, where is he gonna go? That's fine. We're hoping for anything in here. That's wonderful. Please. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I might not go back to pick up Wiggle Worm. I might go back to pick up Wiggle Worm. Maybe. Because I might be able to gulp this trinket. Which, if I can, that'd be awesome. Okay, please give me more money. Okay, four cents. Dang. Um, Let's see what else I could do. I'm going to do this. So as you see, we don't lose our angel deal, but now what we can do is get health, get the secret room, and I think this is actually a really good play. Because this opens up a lot of possibilities, and I guess this has to be a secret room. It is. Yes, okay. Yeah, and this is, Pound of Flesh is actually a very solid item, just because not having to lose your angel deal chance. Oh my gosh, get away from me. Wait, I don't have any red heart health anymore. That's kind of stupid. Well, we can still get money, though. We're fine. I'm going to break every pot in here because it does give us money. But kind of flesh is nice because you don't lose your angel deal chance because you take something with health, which I find really cool. If they would have done that, it would have made sense, honestly, because you are technically, like, making a deal with the devil by taking a red heart hate thing. I don't know. I think that this is one of the most generous things they've ever done. <laughs> They're like, you know what? Let's not let them lose their angel chance. And I am going to look for the super secret room wherever it is. There it is. And, ooh, are any of these a... There we go. A tears up. Tears. And 100% we take all of these. Shot speed down is fine with me. Range is not fine with me, but that's fine. Speed up is good. Okay. And now we have 18 cents. And this is why I picked up... Uh the trinket that I did because counterfeit penny can get you a dumb amount of money on runs I usually don't take it with me because trinkets are some trinkets are much better but honestly wiggle worm can be kind of rough and hopefully we can get this upgrade if we don't get this I'm gonna be very sad but there we go so this allows us to get more health which now allows us to do this and am I min maxing a little bit right now yes but it's for a good reason it can make our run that much better. And I will go get the health because we have opened it up. And I honestly think that we're in a really good spot right now. We spent a, we spent a heart of health. That way we could get another heart of health. So we were kind of like back where we started. But we have more damage now. And we're just like generally better off. Let me put this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why I'm just, I, I have the pickaxe out. But now we don't have to worry about bombs as much. Probably should have just taken the pickaxe earlier, but it's probably good that I didn't as well. Um, let's see what you can get us. Oh, and we gulped the... Okay, we gulped the trinket, which is huge. Okay. I am going to go lose some health real quick. I know it's like... That might be a little dumb. But the tier rate that we get from this is pretty major. 0.53 tier rate is nothing to giggle about. And we still get spectral tiers, which spectral tiers uh, in combination with eyesores makes it so we can do a lot of damage to things around us in a room without ha without having to be in harm's way so i like it and i'm just gonna pay pay this off one more time hopefully yeah we got five cents from that maybe pay out yes we got it let's go and taming set's not that good but robo baby is one of my favorite familiars because it does let you do room wide damage um just because i mean it has infinite range and so it's way better than Robo Baby 2.0, which is kind of weird, because you'd think that a 2.0 baby would be better. But I think we're good. I don't think we need the book. Book of Sins is not really one of my favorite items in the game. 
kind of mid. And honestly, I'll go all path. All path having more options for items is always just a solid thing to do. So I like this. And just like that, we went from a ant run to like a really solid run. Like we're already at almost max tier rate. And we are very just very solid. Of course, our health is not the best, which is a little unfortunate, but we do have the ability to go into any room that we want to or any any secret room that we want to because we have the not just pickaxe and not just pickaxe is a very solid item if you see it it's it's very it's a very easy buy and i think daddy long legs is just the better item here if this is an active item then it would be kind of useless to pick that up and it was pyromaniac that's crazy that's crazy Runs repeat themselves. It's we had Pyromaniac in the in downpour yesterday as well. I think it might have been not downpour. It doesn't really matter that much, but that's unfortunate. If we had Pyromaniac, if we find if we find Doctor Fetus on this run, I'm actually gonna be qu quite sad because Doctor Fetus. Oh man, Doctor Fetus plus Pyromaniac would have been crazy. And right here, of course, I am going to. I'm gonna wait to do this. Because we might be able to get old bandage from this boss fight. No reason to pick up that solar right now. It literally doesn't do anything for us, so it's not really any reason for me to pick that up. Yeah, we are just making mad cheddar right now. We get the secret room. We get a speed up, which I like. Hematemesis is quite decent. I'm just going to pop it now. Uh, not really. Probably not the best idea to pop it now, but at least I have health on the ground. I don't want it to carry it with me. And since I have a bunch of solar health... I will just go into the curse room. We just really don't need that much, that much health. And look at that. This is why we go to curse rooms, guys. Curse rooms pay dividends. I'll take you with me. I'll touch you for a second. We're now two away from getting Guppy. And we're back to the exact same amount of health that we had starting this at the start of this floor, which I'm more than okay with. Honestly, Daddy Long Legs is so good. I don't know why I made it sound like it was hard to take it it's a it's a really solid item of course pyromaniac would have been way better eh, not way better i guess right now pyromaniac would have been not super useful pyromaniac is always really good because you can get health for bombs but what do we care and we do have wiggle worm forever now which is kind of my was kind of one of my concerns but i'll take this because it's just a solid it's just a range up it's actually a really good trinket and now we're at 17 cents we don't really need money, so I will just sell this. I mean, donate this, not sell it. And this is the run you guys have all been waiting for. The run where I actually donate to my donation machine. I know. Who am I? What do I do with the real priests? Don't worry. It's me. I, I'm still sane. I promise. I still don't, just don't care about the donation machine that much. It's really just not too important the donation machine is mainly there for achievements honestly it can be helpful but it's no longer helpful after the patch there we go okay we're getting crazy good luck we're already at max tier rate which is lovely and we get crown of light which is absolutely insane see i'm not gonna waste a bomb don't you guys worry and this run i don't know we've been getting crown of light way too often like crown of light is a really i mean it's a solid tier four item only downside to uh, Crown of Light is that you, as soon as you get hit, you lose it. So it's not as good as like any other tier four item. But we're doing fine. And can I just, I can break that. That's actually crazy. Don't think there's anything else I really need to do on this floor. I might as well, you know what? Let me make sure I don't have my pickaxe out, but I might as well go into the mirror realm. And don't worry, I'm not gonna go to the curse room ever again because everybody yells at me every time I go to the curse room. Not every time. People get angry. People get really angry, like super angry. But good news is we can't really lose Crown of Light. Because if we lose Crown of Light somehow, we are literally just dead. <laughs> That's the only way we can lose Crown of Light while in Lost Form. So we also have Spectral Tears still. I wish we had Homing, but can't have everything. And we're looking great. If we get Homing, then we're just going to have a very solid run. And look at this. Okay, I just need to be very careful because I think I can hit the mirror with the pickaxe and just lose my run forever and ever. But look how much damage we do. 
Because I think uh, Crown of Light is a two times damage. So I don't think our tier rate can go any higher, can it? Yeah, it can. Crown of Light is a two times damage. That's about all I have to say. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. It's just a very, it's an item that I just don't really care about. It doesn't really help you out too, too much. Like, it's awesome to have if you have, like, Holy Mantle or something and you have a really OP run, it can just make it that much better. But since you can only have, like, one of each damage multiplier, if you get one other two times damage multiplier, it makes Crown of Light kind of useless. So, maybe, I don't know if, even if it's a two times damage. I think it is. But two times damage is insane. I'm not going to, like, minimize that. It's better than Ease Mascara because it doesn't have any drawbacks, so I can only say that. And here we go. And mine is going to be awesome because we do have the pickaxe. We can break all the rocks we could ever want to. Is there anything else I need to do on this floor? Does it look like it? And honestly, Coat Hanger was not really worth doing that whole floor for, but we didn't know what the item was going to be, so it's fine. And today I am drinking Guava Flavored G Fuel. I've not been drinking G Fuel way too often lately, just because I kind of wake up later and it's like, dang. Even if I'm not going to go to sleep for like a, like many hours, I'm just like, it's probably better to not drink a bunch of caffeine. Because no matter what, caffeine can just like, it can make you stay awake longer than you want to. And speed down's fine. Don't really care too much about that. And this is a wild room. What in the world? Oh my, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're fine. I don't know what just happened to me. My whole brain just shut down. Nothing was going as planned. What are you, Pretty Fly? Oh my gosh. Pretty Fly is another one of like the best pills out there. I will say Luck Up, Pretty Fly, Health Up. Best pills. Tear it up is fine. I've already said that. I've, I've ple pled, I've pleaded. What's the past sense of plead? Plead? I plead my case. That Tear Rate Ups, as, uh, they are a really good, a really good pill, but they're nowhere near as good as a Health Up or that's awesome. Nowhere near as good as a health up or a luck up. Because those give you a solid plus plus one stat. Hey, these guys are being a little fishy. How did I kill the one down here? That's actually kind of crazy. But yeah. It's just the best. Simply the best. And I know hitting these could get me damaged, but I'm liking this. We have like one of the best pill pools we could possibly have. We have a health up, a tears up, a speed up. Don't know if we have a luck up just yet. No reason to actually keep this. We don't actually work on battery charges, so I don't need it. These guys used to be the bane to my to my existence. They kind of still are. Okay, that was just really stupid damage. We're fine though. <laughs> Fake eyesore? I'm like, what do I do right here? Also, the health up kind of messed me up because I no longer have my double damage. But I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, that worked out really well. If there is a even mediocre passive item, just take it. There's no reason to to skip out on a like a half decent passive item because if you get a if you get a active item like lemon mishap, I'm not gonna take that with me. That meant I just found a completely useless room. I'm not gonna take left hand. If you ever have marbles, don't take left hand. You'll be stuck with only red chest for the rest of the run. Which, as cool as that sounds. I mean, it is pretty sick, not gonna lie. But that means that on chest, we would not be able to get regular chests. Which, I mean, we could always. Okay, I do not like this room. Skirt, 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 skirt. Okay, I'm out of here. Stop. Stop touching me, please. Oh my gosh, I need to just fight the boss soon. How did I not get hit? Ooh, pretty fly. We are now at max pretty flies. Tears up is amazing. Hematemesis, also amazing. We're not full health again, so now we have to do our double damage. And now every enemy is going to be that much easier. I don't even remember what I was saying. Please pop up. Thank you. I was saying something. Yeah. We don't want left hand. That's all I'm saying. And let's come in here because I'm taking this. All day, every day, I'm taking this. Also, watch this cool trick. I didn't think that was going to work, actually. Well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was 
going to function the way it did. But I did want to take uh, BFF because we do have two different things that can benefit. Actually, three different things that can benefit off BFF. We now have bigger pretty flies. Our tiny cell guys do more damage and are slightly bigger. And our room-wide damage is two times what it was before. And a damage up. Beautiful. We'd love to see it. Oh, no. Mole people? No, not mole people. I'm glad it's not mole people. Mole people suck. Okay. These guys also suck. As long as you don't let them get close to you, you're fine. But they're hard to deal with. And honestly, this run's going really well. It might not seem like it with the amount of health we have. But it is. I, I promise. Where's the secret room? Is the secret room here? No, the secret room has to be here. We get money from that. And yeah, I think we're pretty good on this floor. Dang, we have just, we're just like very, very beefy. Now, I don't want to lose my soul heart. I want to make sure that we have more than enough health in this run. I know I'm like using my red heart health a lot to get items, but BFF is one of those items that if you pass up, you'll, you'll almost always regret later in a run. Because, I mean, BFF is just two times damage on all familiars. We already have three different familiars who benefit from it, so why not? Oh, that was amazing. Always stay far away from these stupid worm bodies, especially for the hollow. Stone hollow. I don't know what the actual boss is called. But it gets very, very rough because it can summon flies and stuff. It can shoot very fast. It's not a fun time. And I do indeed love Placenta. Okay, that's awesome. Nothing else to do here. Don't know why the music's not playing, but we'll go next floor. I know I could have looked for the super secret room, but who cares about the super secret room? I mean, I kind of care, but who really cares? Oh my gosh. That was crazy. And that is Chemical Warfare. Soul of, Soul of Blue Baby. It does say Chemical Warfare in the flavor text, which it should just always say that. Okay, let's put that away for now. Oh, and is this going to be the secret room right here? Please be the secret room right here. Oh, that's so lame. This is one of those rooms I don't understand. Like, if you have how to jump, you can do this room. And if you have flight, you can do this room. But just whack. If you do press those buttons, all it gives you is sacks. Each button gives you one sack. So good luck in your future sack getting. Go out there and get those sacks. Dang it. Should have expected that. But yeah, if you guys don't know how Crown of Light works, it, it's as long as you're on full red heart health and have not taken damage in a room. So I'm doing a really bad job of not taking damage in a room, but it didn't kill us. So we're fine. And right here, I don't I love D1. D1's great. They did nerf it to they nerfed it really bad. Uh, but I don't need another active item. So Vampire Charm's awesome because it gives us a little bit more damage. Even plus 0.66 damage is great. Now, there is a 0.33 damage up, not a 0.66 damage up. We just have two times damage from Crown of Light. So, it works out. Just having a little bit more health is awesome. And I do not want to use the Blood Donation Machine right now unless I know that I'll, I can get back all my Red Heart health. Or I just wait till the end of the floor. Either is fine. We do have regeneration, so I'm okay with, like, not having full Red Heart health. But if we're about to fight the boss, I want to make sure we have two times damage on the boss. Because bosses aren't the easiest thing ever to fight If you guys have never fought a boss in this game <laughs> They can be a little rough sometimes And 100% we do take King Baby here Actually, do we take King Baby? I kind of want to take both I think If we take both, do we get I can't remember If we take both, do we have I don't remember how it works I don't know if we If we take both, I don't remember if we still have The Crown of Light effect but I'm going to wait to do that because no need, no reason to rush that. I do want to take Broken Modem, but I don't think it's a smart idea to. Thank you for turning tail and running right there. Oh, let's get that out of my hand, please. Okay, sweet. Easy. We are oh, very close to spun, and we now have max speed. And let me just do this real quick. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do this because we do not need health right now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to blow this up. And I think I'm going to be a little risky. 
I think I'm gonna be a little bit risky right here. Okay, so if I take you, that gives us a baby. If I take you, we do not lose our double damage. And that means that we can now no longer lose our crown because we don't have full red our health, which is good. And what are you? We don't know what you are. Okay. And am I scared right now? Yes. I, I know we can't go to Mausoleum anymore, um, but there's no way we could go to Mausoleum and have both of the items. I know it's playing a little risky, but we can get health very easily. So I'm not too concerned. Honestly, I think we'll be fine. Unless I get just some BS rooms. But like, look at this. We'll get a black card in this room. No, we won't. Okay. Now I'm pretty decent at this game. I, I know I said I was going to play a lot less riskier. Uh, or try to. But I think right now, I'm not really playing too risky or anything. I think right now I'm just playing risky health-wise, but smart every other reason. Because Broken Modem is great. It's a very, very good item to have. And I might as well break this so we know that the card's in this room if we ever want to come back here. And I do actually want to pay you out. Okay. Why did I break that? Because it makes my life easier. We can break you. And we're just going to come here. And we want the health upgrade for you. Actually, anything you give us is going to be fine, honestly. And why am I tapping so slow? Because I don't want to actually use Time Machine mod and like somehow get pushed into the spikes. But there we go. We get the health upgrade that we're asking for. And now we're looking great. Everything works out. These ghosts are rough. You have to move very slowly because if you move too fast, the ghost can hit you very easily. And what do you give us? Ace of Hearts is really good. Chariot card, we don't need you. We don't need you. Sun card, I might as well pop right now. And I'm about to do something a little bit controversial, okay? We're just going to use Ace of Hearts right now to get a soul heart from here. I know there's two like pretty good cards in there that I could have used. Both reverse cards were actually very solid. But I don't really need either. I mean, if we find rock bottom on this floor, I'd be kind of sad, but... And that was bad damage. But now we can go find the secret room real easy. And we can be happy. Wait, what the heck? Apparently I was too close. And we're not doing Curse Eye again. Unless I get, like, Black Candle right now. Do not want that. And yeah. We're fine. A Steam Sale doesn't help us. I was about to say, let's go back to the shop. That I forgot I was already in the shop. Yeah, we're doing we're doing A-OK. Okay, okay let's put that away. It's really hard to tell when you have the pickaxe out. It's kind of annoying how it doesn't really differentiate between the two. And our range is too high. Having too high range with like a, a melee weapon can be very nice. Oh my gosh, I did not see you right there. That was a rough champion to have. You just can't see that. And we'll take both of these because it doesn't matter. You might be like, what are you doing? I'm just bombing all these. Actually, I don't need to use my pickaxe just yet. I want a soul heart very badly. So blowing up these fires is a it's a decent move. Any soul heart I can get right now would be good. Okay, no soul heart. That's fine. And kidney bean, even though it's one of my favorite items, I'm not going to take it because it doesn't help me right here. Okay, I'm not going to use that anymore. I just want to make sure I can find any tinder rocks I find or see. And, yeah. I'm just going to keep on moving through this floor. Not, there's not re a really reason to avoid full clearing. Like, I need a full clear, kind of. Full clearing helps me a decent amount. Oh my gosh, the fact that I didn't get hit right there is crazy. I forgot what those enemies actually did and how they moved. Um, I don't need keys. I could bomb for those or even... <sighs> yeah, we have bombs. I'm fine. I'm just going to do this, do this. At least I don't charges with this. I, I know. There's no reason not to do that. If I just go to the middle here, these guys can't touch me. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did not expect that guy to like hit. I don't know why I didn't think that guy was going to hit me. But we're still fine. I know we're low on health, which we're about to get to a floor where th this amount of health is very risky. We're literally going to be okay. And yeah, once again, we... Uh, Notch's pickaxe does not work off of charges like a regular item. It works off of a durability system like Minecraft. 
And so the more you use it, the less charge you have. So you just got to keep that in mind. Okay. Thank you. And was there... No, there's nothing in here. Okay. We're in a kind of rough spot. But we should get an angel deal or a devil deal here. And a devil deal wouldn't be the worst thing ever. It really wouldn't. Uh, because we can spend money on it instead of health. And so we don't need health to do this. And yeah, I did not want to do the regular mother fight. I know I'm very risky. I'm risking my health a lot more than I really should right now. But I think we should be A-OK. -okay. Um, getting a devil deal is fine with me. And I am going to go Polaroid because negative sounds scary. And right here, we get conjoined, which is insane. This is also my shadow, which is not that good. We get a black art, which is also really good. And yeah, now we're in a really good spot. We got conjoined. We now have like crazy high damage. It's harder for us to get hit. We don't have as much health as we want, and I might as well buy this, honestly. Every little thing that I can get right now is probably good. Now it's time to go to Womb. But we have Spectral Tears. We shoot a huge cone. Our stuff moves around like crazy. Like, this is a very, very solid spot to be in right now. And that's why I was saying, honestly, Devil Deals, Devil Deals are such a good thing. Also, I said I could go for Devil Deals today. I forgot that we, since we got Sacred Heart, we no longer have to confine ourselves to the Simpleton Angel Deals. Let's see. That's not it. Actually, I need to be careful because I don't know. My range is really weird, so it's hard to actually find the secret rooms. Like, look at us right now. We are very, very solid. Nice. Now, I do want to find the secret rooms. I'm just taking that. I was about to say, I'll wait. No reason to wait on that. Okay, Tinted Rock. Beautiful. Tinted Rocks, they give you double soul hearts. Who knows why there's random ones that give you double soul hearts, but I love when they do. And I'm going to save my money because I can still get devil deals. And we can open this chest like this. That's a no-brainer right there. The golden trinket doesn't actually affect it. I've said this before, but unless the numbers are gold uh, in the description, there's not actually a change for the golden trinket, which is kind of kind of thing is weird. There's a lot of trinkets that don't actually have any good effect, but I'm fine with it. And that's actually a very, very good trinket for us just because we do need health. I almost didn't pick it up, but then I forgot that we don't even have a trinket right now because we have gold. And just look how we, we went from being like very strong to being like stupidly strong in a matter of no time at all and we did get health back time to fight loki and we should be able to get at least one more devil deal or two you know both are fine and what cards do we get ace of diamonds is really good for us temperance is okay moon card don't really care too much about you judgment don't really want you either um, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, gosh. Well, as much as I want to pay these guys out, I really just can't afford to do that. There was a sun card out there. What am I talking about? Eh, no, no matter what, I take full heart of damage, so I can't actually do this in any meaningful way. Okay. We come back out here, and I'm just going to use Ace of Diamonds right here. Because we got a half soul heart. Let's go. I know I could have taken the sun card with me on the next floor and had like mapping, but who cares about that really? Did I already check this? I did not. Why did I not check that yet? And once again, we do not work on charges. Okay. Next floor. That was the most unfortunate devil deal out there. That was very rough. But we're fine. We don't need like... We don't really need crazy, crazy stuff anymore. We've had a very, very fortunate run. Crown of Light, as much as I have like a, I have a distaste for it, honestly, but it's still a really good item. I can never argue that. And once again, I do not want to spend health because Crown of Light works off of health. I can use my health at the end of the floor, but not a good time to use it right now. I guess I still could use it right now. But I love having Conjoined. Like, honestly, like, look at this. Conjoined with Incubus, with King Baby, actually works to my favor. So if I go to the top left of the room and go down right here, we hit the entire room. 
So I'm just mad coverage. Okay. Where is this secret room gonna be is the question. Okay, let's check here. Not there. A tears up. I wish it was a fire rate up. That'd be really nice. I saw my hit behind myself. That was really weird. Okay. How are we just not going the correct direction? Yeah, this this run was a little sketchy for a second. Just health-wise. I wasn't, like, too, too concerned, but we were at a point where, like, two hits could kill us. And I'm somebody who gets hit randomly quite often. Oh, my gosh. My body just, like, froze for a second. I was like, oh, gosh, how do I avoid this? My brain was just like, you can't. It's time to die. Another worm? Thank you. Just looking for the super secret room now. I know I could have, like, moved one room over and realized that wasn't the super secret room, but... Might as well just check everything. Let's check this. Okay. Sweet. Double trouble polyphemus in a non-boss room is never fun, but it's not that rough either. We have so much damage. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, no clue where the super secret room is. I could go and look for it, but super secret rooms aren't that exciting. Okay, sweet. Look at this. Okay, this this attack is always kind of rough to deal with, especially with Broken Modem. But there we go. Easy fight. We did pick up the Polaroid. I have been going to Shiel a decent amount lately, so I'm trying to be careful and not actually go the wrong route. Okay, give me all the Soul Hearts, please. The 17% Soul Heart chance seems so much lower than 17. Oh my gosh. That was... I always forget that they don't actually come after you. You're almost better to stay, stand still. Look at this Incubus go crazy. Oh, give me Soul Heart, please. Wow. Statistically, one of those should have given me a Soul Heart. But at the same time, statistically not. Some people, I feel like, don't understand statistics as much. Like... Whenever something is like, like CSGO cases is you get a, like the statistic for getting a knife is like one in 384. That doesn't really mean that you are going to get a knife in 384 cases and you get 384. Actually means that like with every case you open, you have like a worse and worse chance of getting a knife. I'm pretty sure. I'm not that good at stats either, honestly. Uh, let's just actually use my stuff how it's intended. I've not been using not just pickaxe enough. I don't know why not. <laughs> I didn't even realize there's ghosts right there. I was just trying to get coins so I could get some health. That's ridiculous. Um, let me go look around real quick. Also, that maze just allowed me to go back to where I was supposed to be. That was weird. There we go. Our secret rooms have been kind of whack lately. I guess we did have transcendence in a in a secret room yesterday that we couldn't get to, so that's on me. But I just want it so bad. So is there a button somewhere in here? There's not. Oh, I'm, I'm, I can just do this. Nice. Okay, can't actually get that. Chariot would have been nice because I could have gotten the quarter. I don't know if the quarter actually allows us to get soul hearts, though. I feel like it wouldn't allow us to get soul hearts. You know what? Okay, that should be the top of the map, so I can't go any further. That's probably a dead end. This seems like a good direction to go. Okay. I do think... Oh, well, never mind. I was about to say, I do think that those top rooms were the top of, like, the 13 by 13 map border. So it was, kind of, it was kind of dumb for me to go up that direction when I already decided that that was, like, the border. If you guys don't know, uh, in Binding of Isaac, the maps are limited by a 13 by 13 layout. And so if you ever see a rooms, like, at the top here, you see, like, there's a very flat part of the map you can kind of tell that that's like the the boundary and so we know there was not gonna be anything up so me going up was kind of not the smartest idea i mean it's not dumb it's not like we're gonna die in that room it's just adding like an extra room that we had to go in what's the little things hey butterbean wafer's insane 
This does give us a crazy fire rate up. So, like, we can go crazy. Like, look at this. And we also get Freezer Baby, which is awesome since we do have BFF. And I never got another Angel deal. Which kind of sucks. But hopefully, we might be able to get a... Um, I don't think we can actually get a Sacrifice from up here. Well, most likely, we won't be able to fight Mega Satan on this run. Mega Stan, as the intellectuals call him. What is this? Bad trip. Lovely, lovely. I always forget that my shadow has like a secondary ability that causes like these weird like little worms to spawn. It's pretty interesting. I have to hit sides multiple times because I never know if I'm actually hitting the right spot. Dead cat, you're beautiful. Of course I'm gonna take you. That makes us one away from Guppy. And melee, melee, I don't know how you pronounce it. Melee weapons, very, very weird with anti-gravity because like the swing stays out there, but I don't think it actually does damage. <laughs> this is what we do. We just like hold our tears like this. Nothing can actually touch us while they're rolling. Now if we let go, it goes crazy. Curse of the Tower, why not? Curse of the Tower is actually really good for us because troll bombs summoned by uh, Curse of the Tower keep our bomb attributes. So every single one will have uh, sad bombs as an attribute, which is very, very nice. These spiders cannot touch us. I, I guess they could technically, but most likely will not touch us. And two diamonds doesn't affect us, but might as well be on max money while I'm here. There we go. There's a secret room. And right here, these beggars right on the last floor are one of the most insane beggars to get because they drop chests. And you know what chests drop you? Items. Every type of chest other than red chests drop you items on this floor. I do need to keep some keys. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We also get Guppy. We also get Crack the Sky. I will be using Magic Skin a single time. Uh, don't need Gish. I love this for us. Oh, well, I'll take a little Gish, I guess. I want you to pay out one more time. And a Soul Heart. You know what? That works out. And let's pop this one time. Let's not take Missing No. Actually, I will take Missing No. Uh, in a second. Actually, I can also do this. I'll take Magic Skin with me. We'll t take Missing No at the end of this floor once we beat Isaac. Because it could actually give us a chance to fight Mega Satan. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I need more keys now. Give me more keys, game. Give me more keys, please. If I would have gotten one extra room, I would have had enough keys. Let's go back here. This guy could drop us something good. Thank you. It'd be cool if uh, Guppy's eye would let you see how many keys you need to open up one of those chests. Would that be OP? Yes. <laughs> Is it something I want in this very spe specific moment? Yes. <laughs> if every very specific request I had got actually implemented into the game, we'd have a very rough game. But look at that. Let's go. I really did not think that was going to be the secret room. And... Watch this. We are now... Hush. We do have the Delirium Portal. I might take it. I might not take it. I'm about to do something kind of risky. I'm just going to run into this room. I'm going to go use Missing No one more time. Or not Missing No. I'm going to use Magic Flesh one more time in this room. Does give us Rock Bottom, which is absolutely insane. But we can't actually use it right now. Okay. That's actually so crazy. What do we have? Okay, we have Judas' Shadow, which is actually insanely good. Our tier rate is pretty wild. And we have Magic Orb. And I have to take... If you guys don't know, I kind of have to take... Um, magic skin with us and since we use it twice it's gonna appear in like every room we go in 
And I feel honestly kind of confident to, I don't know, do I, should I be feeling confident right now? Probably not. We did lose magic skin, which is kind of sad, but we can go in here. We also no longer have Guppy, which is always a sad time. But we did get Devil Deal items, and we have Gimpy now, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to decide what I want to do right now. What in the world? There's so many rooms in here. Dang. Oh! Oh my gosh. We do have Infestation 2, which is such a crazy item. Every enemy you kill gets turned into a, a blue spider. Uh, sadly, blue spiders don't really do too much for us. And oh my gosh. I'm taking so much damage. Maybe if this is not a delirium. This is really pretty much not a delirium run at this point. One of the scary things right now is that we don't know what items we're going to have on the delirium floor. Oh my gosh. Forgot what boss I was fighting. And I need to be very careful right now. I'm probably going to just end the run here. <laughs> I do not want to do this anymore. Yeah, this is, this is where I'm going to end the run. I do not need to test the waters anymore. If I die right now, I do become Dark Judas, which is a two times damage multiplier. But I don't need that. Missing no is just too risky to take. You know what? I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this floor. I wanna use magic sand one more time. I can die two times, I think, right? Cause I have Ankh, which turns us into blue baby, which is scary, honestly. I don't really like becoming blue baby. That's the worst thing though. Okay, why are you coming af after me? We do no damage. Our damage is really low, even for having soy milk. Cause I think you max out at like 1.6 damage usually with soy milk. Oh my gosh. We have dead eye. Dead eye is kind of crazy. Allows us to go to like 2.4 damage. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually is a crazy high number. Now, I don't like how many flies I'm summoning because flies don't actually affect me. I know I'm the one who picked up the rotten hearts, but are they rotten hearts or yuck hearts? Yeah, cart's the item. I think they're Rotten Hearts. I think that's the name. And let's go pop this one more time. Mask of Infamy is actually really good. If I get hit one time, I die. But we do actually have two items that let us come back to life. Um, so I'm not too concerned. It's This is definitely not a Delirium run. At this point, I'm just like having fun and seeing what I can do before I end the run. But yeah, this could have been a Delirium run. Ah oh, man, I, like with rock bottom, what I probably should have done was just go to the next floor and not take in missing no. But dang, booger tears are actually insane with soy milk. Yeah, I could have probably done delirium. It's just, delirium's like one of those bosses you really want to have a very solid run. A very, very solid run before you actually try to fight ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I have Wafer. I forgot about that. I don't know where these guys are going ever. I do have Concussive Tears, so it's really hard to tell what's going to happen. Concussive Tears are actually kind of bad, in my opinion. You never know ooh, where a boss is going to move. I'm actually just playing very whack right now. But hey, there's only one monster or two remaining. Makes my life kind of easy. Okay, and that right there is the floor complete. Nice. And yeah, this is this is just like where we have to end the run. There's not much else I can do. There's not much else I want to do. Missing no is just too random for me to like go to delirium, especially with how much health I have. I'm very much not confident about it. So I'm going to end the run right there. I know I've been claiming about knocking into delirium portal for like days, but... That right there was just a very low health run. That was really fun. We were very, very strong. It was a very fun time. Probably could have gotten Delirium. But once I used... Once I used um, Magic Skin again, I was like, dang, we don't have that much health. Probably shouldn't have picked up Missing No. It was a fun time anyways. But that right there was win number 163 in a row as Eden. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out.